Hola! Episode three, and today I'm so excited! Okay, I have a makeshift island now, and I'm so excited about it because now I can see you guys as I'm cooking. So today I'm so excited because I'm cooking Puerto Rican food! Woo! And who's excited about it? Me! That's Bella. It was her idea. She's like, Mom, please make me some arroz con gandules. And because we're stuck at home, I decided yes. I do have one problem. There's no rice in the stores. So I had to figure out like, what am I gonna do? I only have frozen rice from Trader Joe's and it's right here. So I have no idea if this is gonna work or not. It's in the bags and it's two cups per bag, just in case you guys didn't know that. I didn't have sofrito either. So I had to makeshift all of this. So I've made Puerto Rican food before, arroz con gandules, pollo guisao, you know, different things but I've never made homemade sofrito. So I had to call my sister, Irma, my aunt Titineri in Puerto Rico, and my aunt Mildred in Chicago to try to get the right recipes. Okay, so these are all the ingredients and I, I'm gonna show you a quick picture so you can see it up close. It's gonna be so good! Ah, I'm so excited! Okay, so today's a very special episode because I have my 14-year-old Bella, who's a junior higher, eighth grade. Do you miss school? No. <laughs> she doesn't miss school. Bella's actually a really great baker and she's a total fan of my Puerto Rican food. So she's the reason why I'm making Puerto Rican food today, even though it's a lot of work, but I'm doing it because I'm doing it for my baby girl. So what I did was I chopped up all of the ingredients that are gonna go in. I want you guys to make the sofrito with me. And of course, I'll have the sofrito recipe for you as well. And I have Stevie is actually shooting the B camera right now. Hello. <laughs> so I have I have one crew member today. Did you get the recipe I sent you on your phone? Yes. Okay, where is that? Where's your yeah, phone? My phone. Okay, go get your phone. We'll wait. Okay. So you're gonna read me every ingredient that needs to go in, and then I'm gonna put it in as you're reading it to me. It's my fault. I didn't teach her how to speak Spanish. You know a little bit, right? What do you know? Give me give me a word. How do you say, what's your name? Mi nombre es Isi Palaitu. Mi nombre es Isabela Itu, I love it. It's all a titineri um, and all my family in Puerto Rico. All right, so let's do this. One large onion. One large onion. So this is the onions that I chopped. Okay, that's this. Green nice. bell pepper. Green bell pepper. That's this. And we have one shot at this. This is a one take right now. Red bell pepper. Beautiful, I love all the colors. And I can smell this, oh, I smell it already. It's gonna be so good. Okay, what else? Garlic. Garlic, okay, and what? how much garlic? Two, Two tablespoons. Okay. okay, what's next? Cilantro. Cilantro, okay, so like a head of cilantro. All right, what's next? Okay, Spanish olives. Okay, we got the olives and they're pitted. I actually found olives with um, garlic in it. Um, capers? Capers I put in. Okay. One tablespoon uh, of capers. Salt. Two tablespoons. Salt. Two tablespoons. Okay, so salt, I'm just gonna. All right, that's about right. Probably. What um, else? crushed oregano. Crushed One oregano. Tablespoon. Okay. One, One tablespoon of black pepper. Black pepper, tablespoon. It's a lot. It's a lot. I know, okay. but that's, are you sure it's not teaspoon? Positive. Oh, yeah. It's all tablespoon. One half cup. Half cup, and I already have that, so I have a half cup of olive oil. So now we're gonna put the lid on. What, Stevie? I need a cough. Not Corona, don't worry. Not Corona. <laughs> That's not sure. Into the elbow, remember? Into the elbow. Oh All right, God. so and now we're gonna blend everything. So why don't you show them the color here, babe? And we're gonna look at the color. Look at that. B roll camera. Ooh, that looks good. Wow. Tomatoes. Oh yeah, that's really good. That's really good. The flavors are really good. <laughs> <laughs> now that the sofrito is done, oh. now it's time to actually cook the food. We have the sofrito that we made that's homemade that I'm really excited about. And then these are all the other ingredients that I'm gonna use to make the rice. 
It really does take forever to turn on, but it's like a two minute wait on this stove. Okay, it finally turned on. So now we're gonna start the arroz con gandules. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some olive oil into the pan. It's probably like two tablespoons of olive oil. Then we're gonna throw some pancheta in, which is basically like greasy bacon, which who doesn't love that, right girls? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna throw some of that in there and that's just to get the rice to be real like juicy and tasty and oh. So we're gonna actually stir that up and let that cook for about five minutes. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in about a cup of the homemade sofrito. Let that sort of marinate together for, I would say a, probably about five minutes. Now we're gonna add a cup of cilantro. Get every bit of that, because I love cilantro. And then we're gonna put um, one packet of sazon. This gives it that orange color and of course more flavor. We're gonna stir that in. And now we're gonna put in the best part of this whole recipe and it's the pigeon pea beans, but in Spanish it's called gandules. Okay, so we're gonna let that cook off for a little bit. And then normally I would add, if I had regular rice, I would add the rice first and sort of let that cook a little bit and then I would add the beans in. But because the rice is already sort of pre-cooked, because I'm using the frozen rice from Trader Joe's because that's all I had because of COVID-19, those are my choices. So hopefully it's gonna work. I don't know, I've never used frozen rice before. So girls, I hope it's good. Me too. <laughs> so we'll see. Okay, so that's all cooking up and doing its thing. I'm gonna add some tomato. Well, it's tomato paste, but because I didn't have sauce. COVID-19. Mix that together. All right, normally you put about a, about a cup and a half of water, but I like to do a cup and a half of chicken broth instead of water, because it just gives it a better flavor. And then maybe I'll do a little bit of water. I just put like water in the can. So we're still getting some of that flavor as well. And we're gonna put that like up to like eight, eight or nine. I should really pay attention to what I have at my actual table. So a couple things I forgot to put in was a bay leaf, which I used for the chicken noodle soup last time. I'm gonna throw a couple of those in. And then of course our, the seasoning that, I don't know if you guys have this or not, but it basically has everything in it. It's called adobo. It's, through, it's Goya. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of that in and then I think I have everything in there. Yeah. So let me stir that up. I'm gonna taste it. Let's see. To make sure that all the seasonings are working together. I think I'm gonna do a little bit more salt. Just a little. All right, so now I'm gonna let it marinate for like 10 minutes and then I'm gonna throw the rice in and I'm gonna let that do its thing and then we'll see, okay? And normally I would do two cups of uncooked rice, but because this is already cooked, I'm doing four cups of cooked rice. This is definitely an experiment. Frozen basmati rice from Trader Joe's because that's all I had. It looks good. You wanna look at it, Belle? My sous chef. It looks like mommy's rice normally, right? Yeah. Looks good? So then I'm gonna let this simmer together then. <laughs> I'm gonna put the lid on and I'm gonna actually lower it down to about, to about a three. So while that's cooking, I marinated some skirt steak in like lemon and seasonings and like different juices, a little bit of vinegar and you know, everybody marinates their meat differently. So I'm gonna boil it for about 18 minutes. So this is, it's been, it's been in the refrigerator for most of today. Okay, I'm getting a tool. 
So I'm just gonna put this flat in there's three pieces because there's three of us. Right girls? Yeah. You guys hungry? Yeah. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna throw this in the oven. This is gonna be cooking and then probably in the next like 15, 20 minutes, we're gonna be eating. But wait, I wanna show you what my, my Hollywood prop. Okay, so anyone that knows me knows that this is one of my favorite movies, Elf. I did a press junket when I was hosting television and this was one of the gifts that they gave me for doing the interviews with the actors in the movie. So I'm gonna put the skirt steak in the broiler. It's ready to go. It's gonna be sabroso! Woo! I did it! It worked! <laughs> the Trader Joe's frozen basmati rice worked on my arroz con gandules and I'm so excited. The steak is done and it smells amazing. I'm gonna cut it up, I'm gonna plate it. Let me just show you what this looks like right now before I plate it. Look at that steak. And there's my rice. For anyone that's Puerto Rican, you know that's what it looks like. Girls, are you ready? Yeah. All right, why don't you guys come over here and let's celebrate real quick. I have three flags. And at the count of three, we're gonna say que viva Puerto Rico. Ready? Bye. One, two, three. Give me the So come here. I'm just joking. Bye bye. Okay, so I'm gonna put the curse. Take three. Okay, so that's been mar. Oh. <laughs> what do you say? All right, que viva. Que viva. Que. Que. Que viva. Que viva. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. My girls are half Puerto Rican and half white, so you're what? Sort of weekend. Okay. Okay, ready? <laughs> I'm so tall. Excited. Okay, ready? Get me that way, Okay, we're gonna do it. Oh. Okay,